With new Reason 9.5, we have several ways for controlling VSTs with our devices, but one that hasn't been much explored is using a surface with a custom remote file. The benefits of this method are the possibility to retain our configurations from project to project, and toggling remote configurations on different devices in the same project really fast. I already have a Reason project here with two Kyrotons loaded, so you can guess what is the first VST we are going to map into our remote file. So let's do it. First, we have to check what our VST is called inside Reason because we need this information for a new scope in our file. A device scope is a section of the file that defines the behavior of that device for a given surface. For that, we go to the Manage Plugin window that is located on Window Manage Plugins. Here you can see Kyratun is a VST from the developer Futurecraft. You can also see it is an ID that you should write down to use in the remote file. Our next step is to create a new scope on our remote file. The remote file is located at your Reason program installed at the folder, and you can open it with the text editor. And for the sake of sanity, I advise you to use an advanced coding text editor like Notepad++ or Sublime Text, or any other that will help you get the little subtleties of the remote file format. As I had my things prepared, my BCR2000 remote file was already loaded on Sublime Text. Our next step is to copy another device scope and some controls so that we have an example of what we have to edit. We copy and paste the device scope to the end of the file and start editing. Where you see propeller heads or the rock extension developer name, you should put Futurecraft and then replace the device ID that you copied from the VST uh, management window. In this example, we are replacing Alligator, that was the device we copied the scope from. Ok, at this time we have a remote file with the new scopes for mouse VST. Now we have to start mapping controls. The thing with controls is that each device may be a Reason device, a rack extension or a VST we we'll have different namings, so we have to try and understand the naming of the device's controls. And while with rack extensions the remote mapping templates were available from each developer, at this case we don't have that, but there's a way to get the device control we want to map. For that, we simply go to our device window and simulate adding a remote override in the remote button. Then select the device object you want to control. Reason will show you a nice window with the info about the override mapping, and guess what? That's the exact info you have to put on your remote file. In this case, we selected the oscillator waveform and we can see its name in the window. Let's introduce that into a remote file. At the mapping, let's replace the previous map we had with the Kyrotone control. Very important you put exactly the same wording. We now have to save the remote map and make sure it's reloaded by Reason. For that, after saving in Sublime Text, we go to Reason again, open its preference window, select Control Surfaces tab and go to your surface. Untick the Use Reason option and tick it again. Reason will reload the file. Be sure to use the correct naming of the control surface also. In this example, we started by copying the wrong control, so we had to change it to the top row encoder. Save the file again and reload the settings on Reason. So you have to go again to your surface settings on Edit. Let me show you again. Edit, Preferences, Control Surfaces, and tick. Tick it again. Now Reason is loading the data. And finally, you can see now the right Kyrotoon is the first in the sequencer that's moving. And now the second is moving. You can see I'm not using my mouse to control it, so I'm using my BCR2000 and that's it. Well, for one control and one surface. So Kyrotun has a lot of controls, so have fun um, taking care of this VST or any other. Hope you like it. See you around.